Hey artists, look what I have here. This is the print I made on the 3D printer of the last sculpture, which is here. This is the original sculpture. And unlike a lot of the previous uh, stains I put on sculpture, I just decided to put a coating of wax on this terracotta. And the reason I did a terracotta wax on top is that it completely fired without any cracks, without any imperfections. And the last few terracottas I've done, they have been pretty successful. I think the key is getting the low fire clay and with grog. That's the key word, with grog. And that fire is much better. So normally I put a stain of the, some kind on a sculpture, but on this one I added a wax and this wax has got a little bit of a hue to it, a little bit of a color that makes it warmer. And then uh, one thing I have been using to kind of tone down various parts of the sculpture is shoe polish. And shoe polish is a little bit of a dye with a, with a wax so you can buff it. It takes a lot of time to apply this, but I really love the results of this sort of finished terracotta you can really admire the beauty of the clay when it's like this, but you do have to seal it. You know, don't let the terracotta just be without any wax because it's, first of all, the texture is not very pleasing, but also it, this gives it a much more refined look. I'll put the link in the description for the wax I'm using. I'm not getting paid from this wax company, but I do use it quite a bit. And what I have here is, the sculpture, remember I scanned this, this shows you the flexibility of having a 3D scanner as a sculptor. Let's say, you know, I make this original and I sell it. I don't have a copy of this anymore. And in previous times I've done sculptures, I have sold them and I just don't have a record of them anymore. So with a 3D scanner, even though it's not perfect, even though it's you know, not as refined and beautiful as this original terracotta. It's nice to get something like this for your own private collection and just remembrance. But also one of the things I do enjoy is giving you guys these objects and I've been putting them on my Thingiverse and also my Patreon. So if you have access through a 3D printer, you should be able to get all my future sculptures as I have finished them, I will put them up. And it's just a little thing to give back to you guys if anybody's interested. I also put my ecrochets online. At the time, I paid quite a bit of money for them. You know, they're the ecrochets from Houdon. And they're really great drawing aids. This one I scanned and then I printed at 75%. And this one, I printed at 50%. So you can tell the difference. And I printed on white plastic, and the reason I have done white plastic, even for this, is that it's cheaper. Generally, you buy a whole roll, one kilogram roll for about uh, $18 or so, and it's good to print several of these. And it depends on how thick the insides are, how much plastic you actually use up. You have to kind of be careful with that, but to make a 50% that's a really great thing. Also, the way you cut it, you know, so if you download the SDLs, you're gonna to have to use Cura or some slicing software to modify it for your 3D printer. On this one, I kind of made a mistake right at the seam and I kind of messed it up a bit, but with this paint scheme that I did, you can't tell. You know, I used, I think for this one, I used just a little bit of a uh, metallic paint and on this one I use the metallic paint from Modern Masters and I really recommend Modern Masters I've been using their paints for a while they they do last a while and it gives you that aged look just by spraying like a, a, a bit of the oxidizer on it because it does have metal but you could also mimic metal by using various colors. I've also shown that on the YouTube. But I just wanted to show you the flexibility of what this is for a sculptor. If you're a sculptor on YouTube, 
get a 3D scanner, you know, scan your works, put them up for people to download. It, it's been a really great type of thing. I'm really enjoying it. I'm enjoying seeing people download various things. And as always, I really appreciate you guys watching. We are approaching 4,300 subscribers, so that's quite a few. And hopefully the channel will keep growing and I will be continuing making these sculptures for you guys to download. I really appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you in the next video.